people come to Martha's Vineyard, the Cape and the islands, for the sole reason of being outdoors. The landscape is fantastic. So understanding the life cycle means that uh, you can take some minimum precautions and still enjoy the woods. The critical aspect of this is that this is a two-year life cycle from egg to egg. So right now, we have the nymphal tick out. That's the teenager. And they're feeding on almost anything right now, birds, deer, mice. And uh, if they find an animal and feed successfully, they will develop during the course of this summer. And then in October, will have changed into the adult stage, male or female. And they're out in the colder weather, starting about the middle of October and running through the winter into the end of May. Uh, on cold days, they're not active. If it's too cold for you to be out without gloves on, it's too cold for the ticks. Otherwise, they're out looking around. For larger animals, they're on vegetation about a yard off the ground, waiting for something to come by. They'll feed on dogs. Most people know they'll feed on humans. But the thing that is out there most at that time of year is gonna be deer. And so deer feed 90% of all adult female ticks. The female will feed for seven days, drop off, and then hide somewhere. We don't know where, somewhere in the leaf litter. Uh, and uh, as it warms up in May, each fed female will lay 2,000 eggs. And all the eggs hatch synchronously in the middle of July and liberate the baby ticks, or larvae. Larvae have six legs as opposed to eight legs for nymphs or adults. So the, the larvae, once it's fed on an animal, uh, will overwinter again. So you have the adult stage going through the winter, and you have the larva going through the winter, and they will molt as the temperatures warm up in April and May and start coming out in May, and that's the stage we have now, the nymph. Uh, the larvae molts to the nymph. So the nymphs that we see today are the larvae that fed back in August and September. So you can enjoy the hiking trails, you can enjoy blueberry picking. Just uh, use some repellent, coat your shoes and socks with permethrin if you can, do tick checks, and above all, if you ever have a fever that you can't explain, go see a physician. But that doesn't mean uh, one should be afraid of enjoying the outdoors on the Cape and the Islands.